So why can't you post journal entries to Xero bank accounts? Well, I can't tell you that. You're gonna to need to ask Xero about that, but what I can show you are two workarounds that can help you achieve your goal. This first method that I'm gonna show you won't be great if you have to do this often. It's more for one-off situations like when you're converting a client to zero for the first time or making one-off adjustments to get the bank balance to tie. Let's start in zero by creating a journal entry using the quick add button. Now let's say we're making a loan payment adjustment of $1,000 paid from the checking account. $800 is gonna to go to principal, 200 to interest expense, and then 1,000 is gonna hit the checking account. Here's the part where you would typically code this to the checking account directly. However, you may notice that if you're typing in the name of the bank account, or really any bank account, it's not going to appear here in this dropdown. What we're going to do here instead is code this to a clearing account. So we're going to do that for the full amount, $1,000, and we're going to post this entry. Now that's the first step. The second step is to create either a spend or receive money, depending on the type of journal entry that you're creating. And because we're reducing the checking account balance by $1,000, we are going to create a spend money transaction. We're going to post that to the checking account. And then we'll enter in the details of this transaction here. So it's going to ask for a contact. We can call this JE adjustment. Quantity will be one, and then unit price will be 1,000. So the amount that we want to reduce the checking account by. Earlier we coded to clearing, we have a balance of $1,000 in the clearing account. And so we are going to find that clearing account and then save this transaction. The net effect of these two steps will create you the journal entry that you're hoping to do within a single step. So again, this is a workaround meant to be used for one-off entries rather than recurring entries, because as you can see, it is a little bit manual. The second method involves creating a new asset account within the chart of accounts. With this method, you won't be able to reconcile the transactions like you would a typical bank account in Xero, but depending on what you're trying to do, this could fit your needs. First, we're gonna to go to the chart of accounts. We're going to add a new account. All of the adjustments to this account will be related to the checking account. The account type will be a current asset. And if the checking account code is 1000, let's go ahead and give this one 1010. Checking account adjustments will be the name of the account. And don't worry about the naming, it's not gonna show up on reporting. And I'll show you how you can do that in a second. And then let's leave everything as is. We're gonna create this account. So now that we have our current asset account, we're gonna recreate that journal entry that we did earlier. And instead of posting to a clearing account this time, we are going to post to that new adjustment account that we just created, checking and account adjustments. So let's pull up the balance sheet and see how this looks. So your balance sheet might look something like this. You'll have a balance for your checking account, which for some reason isn't appearing here, but we are in the demo company. And then you have a balance for your checking account adjustments. Now, if you are printing this balance sheet and sharing this with your client, this is gonna look a little strange. So the next step is editing the report layout to group the two accounts together. And here are our cash and cash equivalent section. Here's the primary checking account. Here's our checking account adjustment. So what I'm going to do is just move this by dragging and dropping it right underneath the checking account. I'm going to select both of these accounts and then group that selection. First thing you'll want to do is give this group a new name. We're going to call this just simply checking account. And if you leave this group uncollapsed like this, what you're going to get is this exact display on your balance sheet. So you're going to see checking account, checking account, and then checking account adjustments. And you see the balances for each. However, if you collapse this group like so, what you're going to get is a combination of the checking account balance as well as the adjustment account which will be hidden from the client. And that's gonna be the most important piece. So let's update this layout. Now that we've made our changes, you can see here on our balance sheet, the checking account is a single row that combines not only the regular checking account balance, but also any adjustments that you've made. And just so that you can see what this looks like when the grouping is uncollapsed, let's go back into edit layout and uncollapse that group. And here you have our row header checking account. Here's the checking account balance. It is currently negative. And then here's our journal entry that we posted for the $1,000 loan payment. If you're happy with how this report looks, 
The next thing that you will need to do is save this as a custom report. So future journal entries that you make to the checking account adjustment accounts will automatically be posted here and be grouped to the main checking account. So we're gonna save this as a custom report. And then we're simply going to make this custom report the default. Anyone who runs the regular balance sheet report going forward in Xero is going to see this newly formatted report. Let's give this a test by going to accounting and balance sheet. And you can see here that our changes have been saved. So those are the two different ways that you can post journal entries to cash accounts in Xero.